Our goal is to remove a billion tons of CO2 by 2035. Not only that, but kind of removing CO2 from the atmosphere is one of the only ways that we can address the carbon dioxide we've already emitted. So we're really, really focused on getting to the root of the problem and actually tackling the carbon crisis that we're in right now. Heirloom uses naturally occurring minerals to take CO2 directly out of our air. So what that means is, you know, as a part of the carbon cycle, minerals take up CO2. It's a very slow process. And what we've done essentially is given these minerals superpowers, and that allows them to take up CO2 much faster than they do geologically. So when thinking about what heirloom does, we take limestone, one of the biggest reservoirs of CO2 on the planet, and we take its CO2 away. That leaves us with a really thirsty mineral that wants its CO2 back. So we can put that mineral outside and it'll naturally take up CO2 from the air and reform that limestone. So we can once again take that CO2 off of the limestone and, and lay it back out to capture more CO2 from the air. And then we partner with other companies that take that CO2 and inject it underground for permanent storage. So we keep it permanently away from the atmosphere and it can help us combat some of the most catastrophic effects of climate change. I you know, got very fascinated in climate initially through kind of a social justice lens. So when thinking about the effects of climate change, what you see is that they disproportionately affect the world's most vulnerable populations that have the least to do with creating the problem. So I, I'm, I'm very much motivated from that social equity piece. And I think that for me, it's rooted in, in why I got interested in climate change and then my, my background for kind of the research that I've been doing is in the field of, of carbon mineralization, which is the act of these rocks taking up CO2, as well as ways to take CO2 directly out of the atmosphere in like an engineered manner, and that's called direct air capture. So I worked at the intersection of those two fields, and this idea pulls from both of them in order to create a process that essentially is like no other. I had the skill set and the expertise and was very passionate about climate and was part of the idea inception for this, this process as a part of my research. And I really wanted to make an impact. So that's why I, I co-founded this company is because I knew I had the skill set. I was the right person. I was motivated and excited. And I knew that the process could have a wide sweeping impact. We just closed our Series A round earlier this year. We've raised on the order of $70 million for our Series A, co-led by Aaron Innovation Capital, Breakthrough Energy Ventures, and Carbon Direct. That process is, I kind of find it fun and challenging. I think it's really interesting to see what types of questions people have about what we're doing and what type of information they want to see to prove that it's working. And I think those are, those are kind of two different lenses and the fact that I really enjoy the economic piece and like how much is our process going to cost and I think that people are indexing on that because of a lot of different reasons. One is that, you know, we're going to have to remove a significant amount of CO2 from our atmosphere over the next hundred years and it can't be expensive. If it's expensive, we'll have an aversion to doing it. So it's, it's very interesting to see kind of like from the financial lens how this has to evolve and what changes need to be made to, to get us coming down that cost curve. Right now, the carbon removal industry is kind of in its infancy. There's not really regulation around how you can remove CO2 or what counts as removing CO2. A lot of what we're navigating now is how do we create the infrastructure necessary, the rules and the regulations and the policy that actually support the industry. So right now in, in our field, it's primarily voluntary buyers. So people coming in and saying, I want to offset my own carbon footprint. But what we'll really need in the long term is kind of that policy piece. We called the company Heirloom because the earth is a precious object that we want to pass down from generation to generation and preserve. And I think if we do that, that would be what I want my legacy to be. An earth that not only like the current children, but their children's children and their children's children can inhabit and enjoy the same way that we have, but in a more sustainable way.